Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Now, if you have a Cummins engine in an international truck or in a Dodge truck and you are experiencing this problem with smoking, SS smoke, you are at the right place. This is the video that you need to see. We're gonna replace the EGR valve and not only replace the EGR valve, but we're gonna take care of the areas that are around the EGR valve to eliminate the EGR valve from going bad again. So. Let's walk out here to the shop and get started. All right. Now I have a ISB 220 Cummins engine here. This is the EGR valve for this particular type engine. So we're gonna replace the EGR valve. We're gonna pull it off and we're gonna have to take off this intake to actually soak it and clean it out and clean the port out. So the first thing we're going to do, we're gonna take off this holes for the blower and probably after that we're probably just gonna jump right over here to the EGR valve but I may I may loosen up take these holes just so I can have some flexibility here and uh, that's what we'll start with okay I just wanted you to see I took these four bolts out and I went ahead and took off the, uh, the two bolts out of the tube here, because I'm gonna, I need to inspect that tube for carbon as well. This may need to be cleaned out also. So I'm gonna have to uh, disconnect the wire harness on the back side here, on the back side of the EGR valve. So it's ready to come up. So this is what it looks like. That's gonna be the inside of your EGR valve. So I'm gonna put a new EGR valve on here, but I'm going to actually clean that intake to make sure that we do not have this problem anytime soon. This vehicle has at least 150,000 miles on it. Okay, we have uh, six bolts to remove. So I went ahead and removed five bolts, one, two, and there's one over here where my fingers pointed. You can see it there. And these two here, of course. And there's one underneath this plate here. So I just removed this plate, this gasket set, and we should be able to remove the unit. So one thing I wanna do is to, before I remove the unit, just wanna blow out. So we should be able to lift right up, yep. And be able to slide her right on out. There we go. There we go. And see, that's what we have. So, like I said, you may have to depend on how the vehicle's being used as to how often you will actually need to clean this out. And I just wanna show you this section here, just what it looks like. So I'm gonna do my best to uh, actually uh, clean that. And uh, We'll move from there. Right, let's see, we got we got all four bolts out. There we go. Really, from what I can see, it's really not that bad. Feels pretty good here. So it's not frozen. And we're gonna clean this out. And at least we know that will be good to go. We're gonna to have to put a new gasket on here. So we need to scrape along here and just make sure everything is perfectly clean when we go back with our new gaskets. As you can see, I have this stripped all the way around. I took all the parts off. So I'm gonna stick it in the bar saw. 
I'm just going to let it soak overnight. And then what I would do, I'm going to fill it all the way up. Just let it soak. That should do it. And we just let it sit overnight. Well, it's the next day and I have let the unit, the intake actually soak. And what I did was there's a plug that goes here and I went ahead and screwed it out. It has an Allen head, if you can see it. And what I did was I just took a, a, uh, a wire hanger and just went ahead and just made sure it was clean. And you wanna make sure that all of your ports are clean. I just went ahead and took the liberty to actually scrape the inside of the walls of the intake and just get out all the carbon as much as possible and I blowed it out. So uh, that would be a good thing to do uh, and if you are changing your EGR valve. And this one here was in pretty good shape. I have seen where they are just completely stopped up. Completely just, you had to actually take a screwdriver and just break it loose to actually clean it. And, uh, but you do have to soak it overnight and soak it in bar saw would work just fine. put her back in place. I'm gonna have to go up under the two and go under the number one injector line. It's as simple as that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in our six bolts, our three short ones and three long ones. And I'm probably gonna take this tube off and take a look inside of it. It seemed to be pretty clean, so I'm gonna play that by ear. But overall, we checked over the main unit and it looks great. These are the six bolts that is needed to mount back down the intake. But I'm going to use antices, and this may be a no-no, but and it may not be. But the reason why I'm going to use it is because I'm planning on, off and on, taking it off and actually cleaning it. And uh, I think that's going to be, I'm pretty sure that's going to be a common maintenance issue in the future or you might want to say just something you want to add to your maintenance for in the future I decided to cover everything up while I was waiting on the uh, new EGR valve don't want to take a chance of getting anything inside of the uh, the porch so we just want to put our new gasket on We got the new EGR valve and it's gonna come green. It won't be red anymore. And if you want it red, you're gonna to have to paint it red. So we just go ahead and put the gasket back on. Now that we have our EGR valve on, don't forget to hook up your uh, all your connectors. And I want to point out one thing. Uh, whenever you take off these connectors, you have to, this section here, it has a lock. You have to slide this lock out, uh, pull it out the way, or slide it over to your right. Okay, and let's 
not forget to put back our gasket for our tube that goes to the uh, EGR valve. And I also took the liberty to actually clean out this tube. And I actually blew it out. It wasn't bad at all. And uh, I went ahead and put a new gasket here on the EGR cooler too as well. I believe we have everything back together and all connected so we will be starting up the truck. 